Hi again, I'd like to continue our discussion of JavaScript and the magnifier example. And, uh, you know, in the last video we set up our, you know, our CSS, so we have this background image and then we have this, this kind of area that's going to represent the magnifier. Um, you know, I forgot to do one thing. Let's put an image in here because it's sort of essential, like we want to see the large version of this picture in here. Really, this is a half-size version and we want to see the full-size version here. So why don't we add that? So I've got um, some properties here for my image large. That's the div that will contain the um, the larger image. And what I'll do is I'll set the background image property to the image that we're using here. Okay. And there we go. So now you can see um, that this upper corner matches the upper corner here of the image behind it, and we're zooming in on it, right? So now when we move this, we'll want to um, to have the image in there move also. Um, let me get the inspector, and I'll do the same thing I did in the last video where I move this over, right? So let me move it a little bit like this. So I'll move it over, and now the problem here is that the image inside the box here is not moving. Right, so you can see here's kind of that darkish line, and that's kind of this area that we're zoomed in on, right? But the thing is, you know, as we move this over, if the image inside here were sliding this direction, then we would be seeing a magnified portion of the image, you know, in the background, right? Inside this box, and then it would look like the magnifier effect, okay? So that's where we're going to go with this, right? Um, there's a couple other things we need to do to set this up to make it work first. So um, why don't we, as a first step, why don't we plan to try and get this thing to be able to uh, get us able to drag it across the screen. So as soon as we can drag this box, then we can worry about positioning the image inside it. Okay, so um, so let's do that first. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my um, my page here and let's set up some JavaScript. Okay. So here is my, um, my stuff, and what I want to do is I want to be able to drag this thing, uh, image large, okay? So to, to set that up, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to set up a variable here, okay? Um, and we'll just say dragging, okay? And we'll set it equal to false. So this variable here is going to be true whenever we're dragging the, the image large, okay? And it'll be false when we're not dragging the image, okay? And so what we'll do is we'll, we'll set up an event now, okay? And this event is going to be applied to the image large, okay? So, so this guy, okay? So that's the magnifying the little box with the border, okay? And what this is going to be is it's going to be a mouse down event. So I'm using jQuery, so I'm going to set it up like this. And you can just set up any mouse down event, um, you know, if you're using some other system or, you know, uh, generic JavaScript, right? You can, you can do it another way. But uh, this is the jQuery method, right? And the idea here is that when you mouse down, that's when you make contact with the screen or press the mouse button down on your computer. Um, when you do that, what I want to do is I want to set dragging equal to true. So if you mouse down on the image large, then dragging is true, and that means we're dragging the object around or the magnifier around, okay? So, you know, if that was true, then, you know, we'd always be dragging the magnifier forever. So what we need to do is we need to also say, um, actually, I'm going to change this. I'm going to say, uh, window dot mouse up okay um, and this time you know I'll set it up the same way here I'll put the event object there right okay so here when you mouse up I'm gonna apply the mouse up to the window so you can apply this to anywhere on the screen okay so this will be applied anywhere on the screen um, and if you mouse up anywhere in the window, then what I want to do is I want to set dragging to false again. Okay? So here, mouse down, we're going to begin dragging. 
okay, by setting dragging to true. And here, if you drag anywhere, um, you know, or release anywhere on the screen, we'll set dragging to false. Now, the reason we're going to do a um, mouse down on this guy, right, on the image large or the specific object or element, um, and the reason we're going to use the window for the mouse up is this, okay? If you're, if you have the, um, the cursor, um, let me actually refresh that, right? If I have the cursor inside the magnifier, then that makes sense. I want to drag it, right? So mouse down needs to be on this element because if I mouse down in here, I, you know, I don't want the magnifier to move. Or if I mouse down over here, I don't want the magnifier to begin moving, right? So in order to drag this thing or make it feel like you're dragging it, you'll have to click inside it, okay? So mouse down inside this thing, okay? Now, as we're dragging, I might be able to drag my finger faster than the computer updates the position of the magnifier. So if for some reason I'm dragging and I get a little bit outside like this, and then I release outside here, or maybe outside here, maybe I've limited the magnifier so it has to stop in the corner there, but my, my cursor drags out like this, and then I release outside, then if the, um, the mouse up event were tied to this element here, it wouldn't get that message because I moused up outside. So I put the mouse up on the window, so you know, no matter what happens when you release the mouse, I'm going to get that mouse up event. So if you release outside, it's going to work, and if you release inside, it's still going to work. Okay. So um, this way, you, can, you have to click in here to get started, and you can release anywhere on the screen to stop the action. Okay. So that sets us up here, right? So now we're going to do one more thing. Let's do um, uh, window dot mouse move, okay? So we'll need a function with an event object. And there we go, right? So there's our code for, for mouse move, right? So the mouse move happens when you move the cursor anywhere on the screen, okay? I put this inside um, window because you know it, that way it affects anything on the screen. If I if I used image large here in you know as the selector, if I applied the mouse move to image large, then you'd have to leave, the cursor would have to be inside the image, right? So it, or inside that element, right? So it would have to always be inside the box. And again, like if I drag the mouse faster than the computer updated, I might end up outside, and then it would stop moving. Um, or if I hit an edge and then I dragged out here, it would stop moving, right? So um, it's kind of better, or I found it seemed to be better if I, if I set it up this way, okay? And that's, that's my logic there, okay? So anyway, so now how do we get the thing to move? Let's, let's understand a little bit about um, JavaScript, okay? So this event object gives us a couple properties, okay? Um, one of the properties is called page X and page Y, and it tells us where the cursor is on the screen or where the event occurred on the screen. Okay, so let's as a as a test here, let's um, let's get those properties and um, and play with them. Right. So so why don't we do this? Let's say var X equals um, event dot page X and var oops var y equals event dot page y okay and then we'll get out the console here and we'll log the x and the y okay so we'll do that and uh, see what it looks like right so we'll go back here i'll refresh this uh, oh no errors right here's my console i'll switch to the console there it is and then you can see as i'm dragging here you know if I put the cursor in the upper corner, you can see the numbers are almost zero, right? Like, oh, there we go, zero and zero. Okay, so I'm right in the upper left corner. And then as I go across the top edge of the screen, you can see the first number is 149. So I'm 149 pixels on the X, page X, four pixels on the Y, okay? And as I drag down the page here, you can see I'm, you know, 17 pixels page X, 295 pixels, page Y, okay? Now, again, too, you can see every time I move the cursor, the numbers start running. So mouse move only occurs when the cursor changes position. If it's not moving, then we don't get the event, okay? 
uh, another thing, another point. Um, you can see the mouse move event is just happening on the entire page, okay? This is because I set the event on the window, so it applies anywhere inside here, okay? If we had applied the event to, um, let me actually fix that there. Some, some of these programs are a little bit overzealous with the um, quotation marks. Let's see here, image large. Right, so if I change the selector here to image large, then when I refresh, you can see I'm not getting any mouse move events, but I do get mouse move events when the cursor is inside this box. But when it gets outside, no event. Okay, inside here we get an event, no event on the outside. Okay, so um, so how are we going to make this work? Right, I don't want um, I don't want to get mouse move events all the time, right? I only want to get them when you click on the, um, the square and drag it around and then stop when you, know, when you, when you mouse up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this dragging um, variable here. So what we'll do is we'll say, you know, hey, if dragging, right? then, you know, do some code. So, for example, all of this code could go inside our if statement here. Right? And you could arrange this other ways, too, but uh, we'll just do it this way to make it clear, right? You know, if you're dragging, if this is true, then, you know, dragging is true. So we, you know, get the page X and page Y and then log them, right? So let's give it a try, right? So we'll we'll save that. Now... You can see I'm dragging or I'm just moving the mouse around and I don't get any any event. I don't get an event in here. But when I click on this thing and then I start dragging, now I'm getting mouse move events. And then when I release, dragging is now false again and the mouse move events stop. Okay, so when I click on this guy, I get my event. Actually, for some reason, there we go, right? Yeah, okay. And then when I release, it stops, okay? Actually, for some reason, that one's stuck. Let me click. There we go, right? Okay. So um, so anyway, so there we go, right? Um, so, so that gets us started there. So now how are we going to get our object to move, right? Now, this is a little bit trickier. we got to do a little bit of math, right? So we'll just get started here, and then I'll continue. We'll finish up everything in the next video, right? But I think this one, this video is getting kind of long. So, so let's just finish one other thing here, right? So, um, so we've got an X and a Y value, right? So what I'd like to do is I'd like, you know, you saw earlier we, we set the position of this guy with its left and top property. So let's set the left and top here. This, you'll see that this is going to actually require like a little more work. Um, but uh, just to get started, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, you know, target image large, right? And then we'll set its CSS properties, okay? And so this lets us set the CSS directly. So what I want to do is I want to set the uh, left to um, X, and I should probably put pixels on there, right? And then I'll also want to set the top to Y plus pixels. Okay, so let's give this a try and uh, see what happens here, right? So we'll save that. We'll go back to our document here and refresh. I'm going to get rid of the console there. And um, now you can see when I drag, my object starts moving, right? But we're kind of offset. There's a little bit of a problem here where it's not quite in the right spot, okay? Now, You'll notice the arrow right here, the cursor, when I get to this corner, 0, 0, this guy aligns with the upper left corner here. And if you recall, you know, that's the, the interaction between absolute and relative position, right? So as I'm dragging here, the page X and page Y are relative to the upper left corner of the body tag, but the position of the magnifier is relative to the... Um, to the box or its container, right? Okay, so uh, so how are we going to resolve that? Well, we'll do that in the next video, but but we're getting pretty far here, right? We got our magnifier there, and then our next step is, you know, you can see that the image here 
is really this upper left corner, but what we want to do is move the, the background image here so it syncs up with the image behind it, and then we'll be able to see, you know, the, the magnifier effect working, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that's um, interesting.